good morning it is another day here in Sturgis it is actually a move day for us we are going to pack up today and we're going to head out we're going to head out to uh, a new town new city and new adventures I do have my hiking hat on and we're not going hiking but I'll share with you guys what's going on we do have a few changes and that's life that's life in RVing and camping and full timing and part time full timing whatever you want to call it there comes changes I'll share with you guys everything going on in a minute So we are on the road and I promise you guys uh, a status report or a few updates. I did mention, well first of all let me cover this. So we left Sturgis, South Dakota and now we're only doing about a 40 to 45 minute drive to Rapid City. Now some of you may wonder why didn't you just stay in Sturgis and visit the Rapid City area which is what we're going to do while we're there is Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse. Custer State Park. For those of you wondering why we didn't just do it from Sturgis, with the way the fuel prices are and stuff like that, I just didn't feel comfortable or I didn't think it would be, uh, we wouldn't be efficient driving 30 miles or 35 miles all the way out here to visit each one of those locations. So I figure, you know, we just pack up. It's pretty easy once you get used to it. Pack up and just move to another campground. You either pay pay to stay here or pay to stay in Rapid City. It doesn't matter, but this was this was our way of being a little bit more efficient. So we are going to drive, or we are driving, luckily, only a 40-minute drive to Rapid City, where we're going to be there for three days. And then from there, and now comes the first change. I mentioned to you that there was a couple changes. Actually, let me touch on one real quick. You saw me wearing my... Uh, my uh, hiking hat this morning that's because I guess the whole nation is going through some serious uh, heat wave I mentioned to you guys a few uh, a few videos ago that the way we plan our trips are based on chasing the weather and what I mean by that is chasing cooler weathers because no matter how no matter how well insulated these coaches are at the end of the day if it's if it's 95 degrees outside they get hot so one of the changes that we have to do this particular trip is you all know that we travel with two pups Mia and Nugget well usually they stay back in the coach you know and they could stay they could stay in their crates five six hours because they're in the air conditioning and stuff like that well because the weather being as hot as it is I do not feel comfortable heading out to a park for five or six hours so the first change is we're going to be coming back and checking on them periodically or cut that day out in half because I don't want them alone in the coach in the event that something happens. You know, if the air conditioner breaks or anything like that, I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable. So that's that's one change. The other change is we were going to try boondocking this trip or right after Rapid City in a place just outside the town of Wall or the city of Wall, South Dakota. We're going to try boondocking at the Badlands. However, uh, the area, which is a dispersed camping area, you know, when you read the, the, the reviews on the area, it says that you must monitor the weather because if it rains a lot, you know, the road leading out to the actual camping sites get really really wet and muddy and people get stuck all the time well guess what it's been our experience the last three days here in Sturgis that South Dakota has some very unpredictable weather we've been having storms every afternoon and according to the uh, according to the uh, weather report for the next few days it appears to be the same so you know what I'm not taking that chance I'm not uh, I don't do that kind of stuff I'd like to be safe rather than sorry. So instead of doing the boondocking that we were going to do, we actually got an RV park right in Wall, South Dakota. 
and that way we'll be able to uh, experience the Badlands, uh, Badlands National Park, as well as that uh, that dispersed camping area. We're gonna go. We're gonna go check it out for future uh, for future trips. But uh, that's a few of the changes that uh, I told you about. We are, I don't know, about uh, 15 miles away from our next stop. When we get there, because we're only going to be there three days and there's a lot to do there, we are going to hit the road running. We're going to get there, hook up, set the ACs, get the pups ready, and then we're going to go out. Not sure where, just yet. But uh, when we figure that out, I'll share it with you guys. All right, so just like that, again, it seemed like a few seconds to you guys. 45 minutes to us, not bad. Awesome. I, I really enjoy those quick trips. Again, we moved because it's much easier to access the places that we want to do here in Rapid City from an established campsite. You know, just drive 10 minutes, you're there, drive back, as opposed to driving and as opposed to staying at the campsite that we were at and driving a long way. So we made it here, we're in Rapid City. I will tell you this, and I used it off, I've used this term uh, a few times, and not to sound vulgar, but uh, the spot that we're in right now is like fitting uh, 10 pounds of poop in a two pound diaper. I'm gonna switch, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the camera, or switch the camera around here, and I'm gonna show you guys our site. Uh, tight i mean tight is an understatement uh, i'll show you look at the look at this uh main slide the dining room slide i gave myself probably i don't know four or five inches before uh before reaching before reaching this cheeky hut now mind you the cheeky hut is a great addition i can let the pups out in this very hot weather and they can have a nice shady area to uh to hang out in we do not have any trees at our site as you can tell it's scheduled to be in the upper 90s for the next few days uh, I already told you what my plan was for the pups and what we're gonna do as we uh, visit these parks uh, I have uh, I can't even this this site is so tight I couldn't even park my truck they gave me a tent site which is right behind our site uh, in order for me to be able to park my truck I'll show you there and also we are right by the uh which is a good thing we're right by the bathrooms and the laundry so in case we want to wash uh, the pup stuff we can do it but we're here three days mount rushmore crazy horse custer state park and a few little scenic drives that we're going to do and we're going to share them all with you guys all right so as i mentioned to you guys earlier today we're only here for three days so we arrived. I already showed you guys everything there is or to know about this park. We uh, turned on the air conditioners, you know, made the pups uh, comfortable, and we're out. We're going to hit the road running. We're going to go check out Mount Rushmore and maybe even Crazy Horse because we're reading up uh, some information that Crazy Horse can be done uh, sort of like from the outside, whatever. Whatever we do. We're going to share it with you guys, but that's what we're doing. We're hitting the road. First day, just got here, heading out to Mount Rushmore. So we're parked. We made it out here to Mount Rushmore. Actually, from our parking lot or parking space, we don't even really have to go inside. Check it out. There they are, right behind me. But we're going to go in anyway. The parking is run by private concessions, $10 to park for two people in a car. And this is the entrance, this is called the Avenue of the Flags, leading right up to the monument, straight ahead.
another bucket list item of mine, in case anybody's wondering. Not exactly in the plans because it is like 94 degrees out here but uh, there's a trail here called presidential trail it's got three different stops one at point two one at point four and one at point six so we're gonna do it we're not prepared for it we didn't bring any water but uh, it is super hot I'm praying for a little shade, but uh, this trail apparently takes us right to the base, the base of the presidents. Here it is up there. So we're done over at Rushmore. A few little things to do, not a big deal. But now we made it over to Crazy Horse. Fee, $30 to get in for two people, one car. And you could literally see Crazy Horse, which mind you, they've been working on for like a gazillion years. Right over my shoulder over there, you can see it from the parking lot. They say you can see it from the highway. We didn't see it, we paid, we came in. Let's go check it out. So very interesting place, Crazy Horse. It's funny when you walk in, they have a museum, which is actually fantastic. I showed you guys a little video, but what makes this actually 
interesting is there's a 24 minute video that they uh, that they offer and the information provided there let us know that the remember the last video the little big horn uh, battlefield that we went to crazy horse actually fought against custer in that battle which kind of made it pretty interesting for us because we just came from there good morning so it is a new day here in rapid city south dakota yesterday we brought you guys a little bit of uh, mount rushmore we brought you a little bit of crazy horse this morning we're heading out to custer state park which is another uh, place to do here in uh, in rapid city there's some wildlife there's some scenic drives uh, a little bit of everything and uh, we're gonna share that with you guys all right so we made it out to Custer State Park we are just now exiting the visitor center like I mentioned uh, earlier we're gonna do a few little things here there's a little bit of everything to do here but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take wildlife loop road and check that out apparently there's a reason why they call it wildlife loop road apparently there's a bunch of wildlife on it and let's see if we get lucky i don't know it's pretty hot it's 91 degrees out so we're gonna go check it out a few of the other roads that we're gonna do here today are very uh not very i do not fit okay there's a place called needles needles highway yeah, Needles Eye Tunnel and stuff like that. It's 8 feet wide by 10 feet high. I'm good up, but uh, my dually is exactly 8 feet wide. So I think it's one of those places that you drive to or drive to, make a U-turn and head back. But we're here. I'm going to share some of it with you. Mostly it's Scenic Drive and a few pictures and videos scattered in there. Well, there you have it. We haven't been on scenic loop road for more than two minutes and we have a deer and a baby deer he's a cute little one too look at that Here's another one. Little tidbit of information that I left off the original mention of this park. It is $20 fee per vehicle to come in. There is a highway that runs right through the middle of Custer State Park, which is 16A, if I'm not mistaken. If you're driving on that highway, you can just drive right through. There, there's a road that bypasses the actual, uh, the actual pay station, the fee station, and just keep, keep driving. Otherwise, it's 20 bucks per vehicle. They give you a little yellow sticker, which I have... Uh, on the window over there and it's good for seven days it's good for seven days so if you're just driving through you don't have to pay unlike Yellowstone National Park and even Teton there's two major highways to each one of those to each one of those parks but you must pay to utilize those major highways which is basically the park fee here you don't have to do that and I guess it's on the honor system if you're just driving through you you can just drive through but you do have access to everything that we're on right now uh, if you choose 
to circumvent the payment. Alright, so we are done at the uh, wildlife loop and we just entered Needles Highway. Okay, they call it Needles Highway because there's a couple of areas here that are very tight. I mentioned it to you earlier. I just passed by the, uh, the volunteer checkpoint. An elderly gentleman just helped me out and he assured me that I fit. He said, if I'm very, very careful, I can fit. Let's see, I'm game. All right, so we reached our first tunnel, iron, Creek Tunnel, it's called. Let me see if I can get you a, a video here on the uh, on the dash cam. It looks really tight. Learn, I got out to take a picture. Uh, uh, let's give it a shot. So we made it through Iron Creek Tunnel, unscathed, which is obviously because if I had hit something, I wouldn't be making this video. Yeah, I would. Good, the bad, and the ugly, the whole, yeah, I would. But we made it unscathed. By the way, that tunnel, according to what Myrna just read, is eight feet, nine inches. Eight feet, nine inches. I'm sure they, I'm sure they throw a few inches in their wiggle room, I hope. It looked a lot wider than 8.9, I'll be honest with you. My truck, the rear hips, are exactly 8 feet wide. I'm hoping they throw in a lot, of, a little wiggle room because the next tunnel that we come to, which is called Needles, uh, that one's 8 feet wide. I'll let you know when we get to that one. So here goes nothing. Myrna just jumped out to go take a picture of the Needles Tunnel uh, sign. And when she gets back, we're going to try it. 
I, ju I just saw the sign. It said eight feet wide. I'm hoping for eight six. Like I suspected, it was a little bit bigger. Like I said, I'm eight feet wide, hip to hip. Um, it was it was a little bigger than eight feet, but not by much. I had maybe in some areas two inches to spare on each side, and in some areas like four because it's it, the wall well you saw it on the video the wall is rock basically it's it's been cut out of a rock so it's it's got you know it's got edges and and it was it was pretty uh pretty interesting but we made it We are done with Needles Highway and we kind of loop back around around the Sylvan Lake area which tomorrow I think Sylvan Lake is going to be on our uh, to-do list but uh, we loop back around and came back in through the west entrance crossed through the park and now we're heading back to the original entrance which is where we came in through the east entrance because just outside just outside the east entrance is a scenic road called Iron Mountain Iron Mountain Road and Iron Mountain Road Myrna's research uh, said that is best done north to south I'm sorry south to north and that way we could see through oh because that road has a couple of tunnels also through one of the tunnels you can actually see Mount Rushmore once you get to the uh, very tip so we're going to go do Iron Mountain Road, and we're going to share that with you guys as well.
Okay, made it to our first tunnel on Iron Mountain Road. It's called Scoville Johnson Tunnel. I'll show you guys a picture. You can actually look through the tunnel and at the very, very, well, on the other side of the tunnel, you can see Mount Rushmore uh, through the tunnel. Check it out. Very cool. I will tell you something about this tunnel in particular. You can fit a tractor trailer through there. This one's huge. So what's up guys we're gonna have another good bad and ugly segment with Manny so let's start off with the good first positive Custer State Park that we did today was actually surprisingly good we had a we had a great time there a uh, beautiful park uh, again, a lot of driving, almost like Yellowstone. Not as big as Yellowstone, obviously. But uh, the drive was very scenic, very pretty. Lots and lots of animals. So we had a really, really good time there. But now we're back. We're back. Tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow we're going to head out to Sylvan Lake, which uh, we passed by today. is actually a really nice lake. Uh, I believe that... Uh, one of the channels that I follow, uh, Grand Adventure, Mark Guido, I believe he uh, he, did, he did a little exploring it at Sylvan Lake. He's a big uh, kayak guy, but uh, I believe he that's where I got that from. So Sylvan Lake is something that's on our to-do list for tomorrow. We might even throw in a hike. But that's it on the good. Now for a quick bad. So... Uh, right when we pulled into Rapid City a few days ago, the little uh, death fluid light on my truck went off. The uh, diesel exhaust fluid. I spent the last two days here in Rapid City looking for death fluid. Nobody had Walmart didn't have it. I went to two different Walmarts. They didn't have it. We went to an O'Reilly's here in Rapid City. And then in O'Reilly, in the town over where uh, where uh, Mount Rushmore's at, nobody had it. Today, by luck, I got a hold of Napa, which was about 18 miles away, and I was able to uh, I was able to get four four containers of Def fluid. Now, mind you. The only thing they had left was the expensive stuff. I was able to get four. I have no idea. Uh, well, actually, I do have an idea, but we're not going to get into that. What's going on with stuff? Because, you know, first the fuel. First the fuel. And now, uh, and now this. I don't know what's going to happen. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to trudge forward. We're going to uh, play it by ear and see where we go from here. So I gave you a good. I gave you the bad. That's it. Tomorrow, new adventure. 
Good morning, guys. So it is a new day, new day here in Rapid City. It actually happens to be the last day of our uh, of this leg of our journey. Today, as I mentioned yesterday, we came out to. First of all, last night we had a terrible storm, and I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, again, unpredictable weather, but everything's cool. We everything was great. We came out today. It is a beautiful day, 72 degrees. Yesterday was 94. It is only 11 o'clock in the morning, but we're here. We came out to Sylvan Lake, and I'm going to flip the camera around here, and I'm going to show you guys. This is a gorgeous place. We're going to do a mile loop trail, which goes around the lake. Uh, you can see the people walking here. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Couldn't ask for better weather thus far, because weather changes here on a snap but uh today's gonna be a short day we're gonna do this then we're gonna eventually head back to camp i got a few things that i gotta button up before hitting the road tomorrow but i'll get with you guys in a little bit and i'll show you a little couple pictures and a couple short videos of sylvan lake in custer state it's actually right outside custer state uh state park What's up guys so i hope you guys enjoyed sylvan lake as much as we did cool place uh exactly how it was described to us very nice well the the video that we brought you guys was a sylvan lake day use area which is awesome but that's it that's it we are done in rapid city tomorrow we're gonna hook up and we're gonna move to wall south dakota and that's gonna be a whole nother video all on its own that and the badlands but we're only there for one day, believe it or not. So I may incorporate Wall and the Badlands along with the uh, Bismarck, North Dakota stop. But that's it. We are done in Rapid City. And as a result of being done in Rapid City, I'm going to go ahead, even though we're going to stay here tomorrow night or we're going to stay in Wall, South Dakota, I think no time better than the present to do South Dakota on the map. Here we go. All right, South Dakota has found its way to the map. 